RGH Realty Number no. One Inc. Okay, you've arrived at your subject property and now you're going into the interior. What do you look for once you're inside? The first thing I do, uh, Robin, is I take a, a notepad and basically I write down everything that I see, everything good or bad about a house. Because after the overall inspection, I'm going to come up with an overall condition rating. Some of the things that are taken into consideration are, are the kitchens, the bathrooms been updated. Uh, is there a family room? Uh, is there a fireplace? Is there a deck or a patio? And you have to remember, certain price ranges require certain types of amenities. And what we do in estimating the value is we look at the contributory value of an amenity, not what it actually costs, but what it adds to the overall value of the property. Okay. What if someone updated the kitchen partially? They have new appliances, but the cabinets are not new. Everything's clean, but the cabinets are not new and the countertops are not new, but the appliances are new. Do you factor that into uh, as far as an uh, update? Yes, we call that a semi-update. Uh, okay. Many times a property could have uh, working cabinets that just need uh, sprucing up, say with paint and the new appliances. So we call that a partial, a partial update and uh, it's typically seen as a positive. Okay, what about fireplaces? Fireplaces is a, is a good question here. Uh, in most marketplaces, uh, a fireplace in a family room is a must. What about if I have two fireplaces or three fireplaces? The additional fireplaces may not necessarily add contributory value. Typically, the Whirlpool tubs are a standard in the master bathroom. You typically do not see that in a secondary bathroom, a hall bathroom, or a children's bathroom, and so forth. But again, here, it, it's predicated upon the needs and wants and desires of that uh, marketplace. So on the higher end home, say maybe an 800 to a 900,000 price range, it would be more common than in a three or $400,000 price range. So do you find that that brings value to a home? Uh well, it doesn't detract. It's basically what is the norm for the neighborhood. And you have to be careful, Robert, because sometimes what a lot of homeowners do is they may over-improve their home. Mm -hmm. And this is what we call functional obsolescence. Mm -hmm. And the over-improvement of a home may actually detract from its value. And, uh, you know, every person's home is their castle and you know, people do updates, they're going to stay there for a long time, and again, I always say enjoy the amenities, but you have to make it worthwhile uh, when you go to sell a property. What about um, lighting? How do you feel about like recessed lighting or track lighting or chandeliers? I mean, does that, fa does that factor into your assessment? or is not, not necessarily. Like a chandelier, for example, is something... It, that might be expected in the dining room. Uh, a lot of times the lighting is not a big decision maker and again it's a lot of personal style. Uh, a buyer comes in, they look at it and they say well gee we don't like this lighting, they may change it at a later time. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about flooring? Flooring, flooring the same thing. Uh, in a colonial home for example, a traditional colonial uh, we do find that uh, hardwood flooring uh, is the norm in many markets, like in a raised ranch or a ranch, uh, linoleum, carpeting may be the norm. Like in this particular home, it's a raised ranch, it has hardwood flooring. A lot of times it's based upon uh, the period of when the house was built. Okay. So does that affect uh, the appraisal, the price of the home? Uh, it may. Mm -hmm. Again, predicated upon what other similar homes, what they've commanded. Okay. okay. Because it may be missing in one home, it may be present in another home. Uh, a lot of times it's a fine line and it's very, very hard uh, to, uh, to put a value, uh, put a value on it. Uh, 
a lot of times the big uh, the big picture such as a view the size of the lot the condition of the property the room count the bathroom count basement finishing and items like that mm -hmm. everything else are individual amenities okay and that's interesting that you say count uh, room count because uh, many times you see, say the room has, they may say it's 10 rooms, but you may come in and say, no, it's eight rooms. How do you determine what's a room? Okay, B basically the Fannie Mae guidelines, when you're doing it for a bank appraisal, a room is considered to be anything that is above grade, heated, and finished. For example, raised ranches, the lower level, many times is finished off with a lesser quality. And once it's a foot below grade, then that becomes a finished basement area. And this is very, very important for everyone to know because many times the realtor may have listed it one way and the homeowner gets a copy of the appraisal prior to the closing and they say, well, gee, I thought I bought a 10 room house when in essence uh, the appraiser reported an eight room house. So, and that goes for the living area as well. It has value, but as a finished basement area. Okay. As you can see, this house was built in the 1980s and it's been well maintained mm -hmm. with the hardwood flooring. And if you look around at the walls here, uh, it's been well maintained. There are no major cracks or anything. Mm -hmm. You have to remember, uh, just like as an appraiser coming in here, a potential buyer, this is going to be the first thing uh, that they see. Uh, it has a dining room here, open to the uh, living room, and it's functionally adequate because it's situated right off of the uh, kitchen area. What about the skylights? They have uh, skylights here, they have... Uh, it, it, basically, it basically opens up the room. Now, if you were to say, well, gee, does this house add more value because of the skylights? The answer would be no. It's just a matter of the style of the house being built. Okay, great. Okay, the kitchen here, basically, this kitchen appears to be uh, original, but as you can see here, it is well maintained. Uh, the appliances have been uh, updated. Uh, new refrigerator, stove, dishwasher, and microwave. And, and basically, this uh, property is, is functionally adequate. And again, here a nice touch are the skylights, uh, which gives us more lighting here because uh, from the outside it's very, uh, quite a bit of vegetation out here and that brings in uh, just the right amount of light. Great, thank you.